Alright, what's up guys? This is Z from ZG Visual. Today I'm showing you this tutorial on how to make this animation. We'll be looking into five different sessions that made this animation possible. First, we'll be looking at how I modeled the hand and the arm. Second, I'll show you how I rigged this hand. It's actually quite simple. Uh, and then we'll be looking at how I simulated the cloth. And after that, I would be doing water simulation. There is a lot of trial and errors. And after that, the final part is going to be the shading part. I did this with Octane Render, but you can do it with whatever renderer you want. Alright, let's do this. Alright, so as you can see, the modeling part is actually quite easy. We'll be using only principal shapes and deformers from Cinema 4D. After blocking out all the shapes, I put everything under a volume builder and measure just to mesh everything out. After uh, adjusting the settings in the volume builder and, uh, and measure, we have our shapes ready. Uh, and for the rigging part, I just used uh, bent deformers on all the fingers just for easy animation. And yeah, the rig is done. It's just that simple, just deformers. So for cloth simulation, I first made the mesh and then clean up and add subdivision uh, just to clean the um, geometry a little bit. Then I used soft body dynamics tabs first, uh, but then I wanted to add some seams into the poly. So um, I changed it back to using cloth tags instead of soft body dynamics. After the seam polys are set, all I did was try out different parameters like friction, gravity, flexion, stiffness, and all the others um, and see if the look is what I want and once I got the look I want um, I actually tried adding a little bit of animation in it by using the uh, displacement deformer uh, just to mimic the movement of the cloth in a wind without having to actually um, have that wind and have all the calculation and um, just waste my computing power uh, but later on, because I need to simulate water and add collision tags on it, um, I just decided that moving meshes is just a little bit too consuming for um, power and time. So I just gave up the idea of using the uh, displacement and using animation. Just have it still. Just have a um, still surface.
So for water simulation, I use Realflow for Cinema. The plugin is quite easy to use and the parameters are um, they're kind of easy to understand, but they're fun to play with anyway. So just like what I did with cloth simulation, I mess with parameters a lot when it comes to water. Um, it took me quite a lot of time to find the exact motion I like. And once I find that, I move on to shading and lighting the scene with Octane. It's actually quite easy, just set up the light and choose whatever material you like and uh, that fits your aesthetics. Well, during those times, Cinema 4D crashed a lot of times actually, uh, but I guess this is what you have to go through, so no complaints. And um, yeah, this is my whole process. If you have anything you want to know in more detail, please comment below and I'll try to um, explain it in a more detailed video because this is just too compact for me to focus on anything that is too detailed. So um, yeah, otherwise if you like the tutorial, please hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this. So yeah, this is basically the whole comment I have for this tutorial. Uh, this is Z from ZG Visual. Thanks for watching and be safe. Peace.